All right, so boy, I still got to put a video out today. All right, let's talk about the Jorge's of the world. Okay, so in, uh, what was it, uh, sophomore year of high school, I took this, uh, this uh, computer science class. Uh, the computer language that we were learning was C++. I hated the class, and there's another fun story you can tell about that, but what was interesting is we had to do a couple little programs. It was always pretty simple, but there's data types in C++, right? So if you want to put like, uh, let's say a number, and you call it, a, like it's int whatever, like int whatever, or int bob, right? So you specify that the variable bob is going to be uh, an integer, okay? You can do double as well, all right? And that means it's going to be like a big number, all right? Uh, let's say I'm looking at the screen, char. Oh, I remember char. I think it's like for, for just words and letters or something like that. I don't know. But the point is for math, there's two things. You can do int, okay? And because of memory issues, because C++ was made like 100 years ago, for the data type int, you could use only you could only use like minus thirty two thousand. It was to the power of two something. It was negative thirty two thousand to like positive thirty two thousand, right? Something like that. So just remember that. For double, you could use I think plus or minus two billion. It was something to the power of two. It doesn't matter. But basically, double what? And it, you could also use decimals in double. So you so you could have 1,000,002. You could do double. You could not do that in int because you could only go up to 32,000. That's it. Okay? You could do 15,000. You could do 15,001. 15,000 and a half, you could not do an int. But So basically, everything that you could do in double, all the numbers, if you draw a Venn diagram, here's double, here's int. Okay, so there's no point for int. And you might be saying, well, what's the point of int? That's stupid. Everything in double is in, or, or everything in int is in double, so just use double. And yeah, that's true. But when they made C++, right, they had to worry about memory, so they didn't want to use something like double because it would use a lot of computer memory. So totally irrelevant. It was irrelevant 20 years ago. It's irrelevant today. No one cares. But I do because... There is a question on the test. If you're designing a, a voting system, which I guess is relevant to current events, right, with all the, the election stuff, which is completely verified by the AP, Joe Biden won, I don't want my YouTube channel deleted, right? Absolutely. So the point is, and COVID's totally real, just wear a mask, just suffocate yourself with it. That's, that's what the WHO recommends, do that as well. But the point is, the question was, if you're designing a voting system, okay, what would you use? Would you use the char? Would you use int? Would you use double? And I said, you know, it was a multiple choice. It wasn't a big deal, but I said double, right? And then the teacher marked it wrong. He said it should be int, right? And I said, no, no, I, I get it. Like, a vo one vote is an integer, right? But if you go above 32,000 for, for a big city, a state, or a federal election, like, you need more than, than just, uh, you know, you can't conduct an election unless it's up to 32,000 votes. And I, Jorge was our, uh, what do you call it, our, our computer science teacher. And Jorge's like, no, 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 it's int. I'm like, no, no, I just told you, if you have millions of votes... Like, I get it. Double has decimal places in it, right? And, oh, you don't need decimal places for votes. But int only goes to 32,000. So you need double. Because you don't need the decimal place in double, but it can get you up to 2 billion. And you only need tens of millions or 100 million votes in a national election, but in state elections. But the point is you need millions. Only double can do millions. Int cannot. So if you're designing a voting system with C++, you need to have double because you need to get above and beyond the 32,000 limit or 64,000, it doesn't matter. You need to get beyond that limit. Double does it. And he's like, no, it's not because, because the book says so. So he had, he, this dumb ad, this stupid teacher I had, Jorge, okay, he had the answer key and he's like, well, because the answer key says it's int. It's like, but I just fucking explained it to you, you bald fucking idiot. And he was bald. Okay.
He was like, well, no, I, I can't give you those points back because the, the answer key, answer key. And it's like, I was 16, and it's like, you're a fucking idiot. Now, I didn't tell him this, but that's, that's, that's the misery of it, is these idiots everywhere, right? So anyways, that's it. That's the whole story. It's, it's just the frustration of being around people who you cannot explain to, oh, but, but the answer key, <laughs> oh, my God. So anyways, that's the story. I'm glad we got this out there. Hopefully I explained it correctly. You know, int double, you know, int goes up to 32,000. You, you cannot have an election with that unless it's a very small local one. Right? Maybe the people doing the voting systems did int instead of double. Maybe they listened to Jorge. I don't know. But the point is, uh, those are the Jorge's of the world. They're terrible people. You know, I think we're going to talk about the, the Alex's of the world tomorrow. And maybe the Frank's of the world. Uh, we'll talk about a little bit of religion there. Yeah, Alex's. Oh, man. It involves Spanish tests. Spanish vocabulary quizzes. So that's going to be fun.